When the Stephen Pimlock production came along, it sort of transformed the theatrical potential of the piece. No one had really thought of it like that. And here was the final apotheosis, if you like, of a show and of Joseph, that uh, it, it had come from this tiny beginning to this great effusion at the end. And of course, the truth and beauty of the matter is that it can easily go back to that beginning again. I think Joseph really is about families. You have a bumptious but very talented younger brother, uh, envied, loathed by his immediate family, spoilt by his father. He has no self-knowledge at all, no idea what sort of impression he's creating. Um, passions rise high in families. Most murders are committed, you know, with, within the family. And the brothers turn on him and he's thrown literally into the darkest depths. I think the historical Joseph spent nine or ten years in prison. And something that none of us like to face, it's often when we're at our lowest, in our deepest moments of depression, that we learn something about ourselves. And Joseph turns a corner and becomes very successful, but his biggest test is still to come, because now he's a very powerful man in Egypt, having forgotten all about his family, perhaps, certainly never expecting to see them again. And suddenly there they are before him. And he is now in a position of absolute power. He can forgive them or he can take his vengeance upon them. And we think, of course, of the story of, of being about him forgiving them. And indeed he does. But before that, and this is where the story is so interesting, he takes it out on the youngest one, Benjamin, his younger brother. He reenacts what was done to him just as his brothers were cruel to him as the youngest. He takes it out on, on Benjamin. Benjamin, you nasty youth. Your crime has shocked me to the core. Never in my whole career have I encountered this before. And punishes both Benjamin really punishing himself, and indeed his father, who spoilt him by making him suffer. But in the end, the story shows that you have to somehow turn all that bad, bad thought, bad feeling, wickedness into gold, and the story ends with forgiveness. And Joseph knew by this his brothers now were honest men. It works on the levels of something very big, very important, but also something that's very immediate and about all our lives. Don't go by Joseph, you know what they say. Hang on that Joseph, you'll make it someday.